The sign off of Interstate 35 tells the story. Today is all about a countdown to college football history. Number 34 in question, Ricky Williams. Five from Darrell Royal Memorial Stadium in Austin, Texas. It's the number 23 Texas Longhorns coming in with a record of 6-2 and two against the Oklahoma State Cowboys at 3-5. and five. A huge game for both teams, and here's why, folks. You look at the Big 12 South standings, Texas trailed A&M by one game with two games remaining. A win for Texas today and against A&M, a game you'll see on ABC, and they can win the South Division. Oklahoma State, meanwhile, has to win out in order to become bowl eligible. And this place is ready to rock. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Mark Jones, and welcome to Austin. You know, football is obviously a team sport, a team game, but there are rare occasions where individual talent, like that of Ricky Williams, transcends all of team concepts. And, Dean, a huge challenge today for Oklahoma State to contain him. Yeah, Mark, you know, a year ago, it was Oklahoma State and Bob Simmons. They were the great turnaround, one of the great stories of college football but this year the turnaround of Texas and this guy Ricky Williams and Mac Brown but Ricky Williams is almost too good to be true and barring injury he will win the Heisman Trophy he's big strong fast durable bright he's obsessed with winning just as Major Applewhite is all you really need to know about Major Applewhite is since the eighth grade he has won 60 football games and only lost three and Mac Brown as head coach in 11 months down here in Austin has simply pumped more life into this Texas program since it has seen since the days of Daryl Roy. Speaking of life, as you can obviously see and hear today, the love affair continues between Brown and the community. Meanwhile, on the other side of the ball, Dean, Oklahoma State, their quarterback, Tony Lindsay, the trigger man, a bit of a struggle this year for last year's newcomer of the year. Well, he has struggled. He has been erratic. He's not been consistent, and Tony Lindsay is a guy who is good enough to make big plays, and his run-pass threat scares Texas to death. He'll have to have a huge day to pull off the upset. Defensively, the Cowboys are very active. Kenyatta Wright, the most active linebacker. The linebackers are very good. And defensive coordinator Rob Ryan is very confident. I asked him last night about stopping Ricky Ryan. He said, we will stop Ricky, excuse me, Ricky Williams. I said, he said, we will stop him. We will also take him out of the game. Sounds like a prediction to me, but keep in mind, never let your mouth write a check that your team, your defensive unit, can't cash. You see those guys without the shirts, the crazies here in Austin? You know what they're chanting? They're chanting Heisman. Heisman. We'll see if that comes to fruition when we come back. Welcome back to Memorial Stadium. I'm Mark Jones along with Dean Blevins getting set for the opening kickoff between Oklahoma State and host Texas. Oklahoma State won the toss and has decided to receive. That's Chris Stockton kicking off and back deep. It's Jamal Fobbs for Oklahoma State. Another sellout here at Memorial Stadium, and we're off. This one out of bounds at the four-yard line. And Oklahoma State will start off on its own 35. And now a look at the Chile starting lineups. Lynn, Camacho, Offit, Arceo, and Davis up front on the offensive line for the Cowboys. The receivers, a good group. Willie Grissom, the team's leading receiver. Sean Love and Marcellus Rivers, a tight end who's come on of late. Tony Lindsay, the guy we talked about a few moments ago, the quarterback. Brian Akins, a good blocker. And Nathan Simmons, the team's leading rusher, son of the coach. His first down and 10, and there's a look at Bob Simmons. In his fourth year at Oklahoma State, he's conveyed to his teams that they cannot make mistakes late in the game. That has been their downfall this year, but today is a huge game for them. They have to win out. Aikens and Simmons out of the eye on first down and 10 from the 35. Nathan Simmons will be sat for a loss of about a yard on the play. A good surge up front by that Texas defense. And let's take a look at the defense now for Texas, led by Aaron Humphrey, number 49, Cedric Woodard, Casey Hampton, and Jermaine Anderson getting the start over Kelly this week. The linebacker, the good crew, Hicks, Renfro, and Lewis. And the secondary has seen the biggest improvement this year. Walker and Holmes on the corners. McCowan and Jammer, the safeties. And this is Simmons bouncing it outside on second down. 
He'll kick it out to the 39-yard line. Sets up a third down and about six to go for the Cowboys. Cowboys coming in with a theme this week of 40 points, 40 minutes. So I like the positive thinking on the Cowboys' part. They last week were not very effective against Texas A&M in the driving rainstorm. This week they're going to have a few new wrinkles. I think you can look for some, some no-pack offense and probably look for Jamal Fobbs, number two, to be involved more today than he's been recently. So they've got some good depth at tailback. Out of the offset eye on third down and six. Grism in motion to the top of your screen. Lindsey wanted to take off and keep it himself, but he's sacked back at the 33-yard line by number 49, Aaron Humphrey. It'll be time to punt for Oklahoma State. So a good first sequence defensively for the Texas Longhorns, and defense definitely the key for Texas's success day. It is fourth down and 11, and Scott Elder comes in to punt, averaging 42.6 per punt for the Cowboys. Jeremy Jones back deep in his own 22. A low-line drive one. And it'll be down at the 26-yard line, and that's where... Major Applewhite, starting quarterback, will start things off offensively. A look at the Chile starting lineup up front for Texas. Bishop, Raisler, Gascam, Adams, and Humphrey. The receivers, Kwame Cavill and Wayne McGarity, have made it a lot easier on Ricky Williams. Derek Lewis with five touchdown catches this year. And Ricky Williams, the key cog in the offense in the backfield for Texas. And Major Applewhite has been a great story this year for the Longhorns. 6'1", 195 pound Richard Freshman. Good look at him there. His teammates call him Opie. <laughs> Appropriately shut, so. Stead, 6'1", looks about 5'11". Out of the backfield. Complete to Cavill. Kwame Cavill gains about six yards on the play. Out to the 33. It'll be second down, about... Three or four to go, and Cavill, 6'2", 200, a sophomore, really coming on. Cavill, very good. They move him around a lot, but he's great after the catch. Here's one, they just throw it to him out on the flat, and he makes people miss him extremely well. I think this field today will favor Texas, although Oklahoma State believes it will slow Ricky Williams down. I think a field like this favors a team that throws the football, and there's a good example of it. Now, Texas with good balance, throwing the ball and running the ball in the last five games during the winning streak. Applewhite intended for McGarity, and it's incomplete. McGarity going high, but couldn't squeeze the bill. It'll be third down and three to go, and a look defensively at Oklahoma State up front. LeBlanc, Weaver, Mallory, and Waddle. There's a look at the front four. Tough group. Weaver, really a good player. Kenyatta Wright, the main man among the linebackers. And in the secondary, Howell and Edwards will get tested today. Thompson and Alexander to the safety. Third down. And three to go for Texas on their first offensive series. Brown and Williams now split behind Applewhite. The Bill in motion. And it's complete for the first down at the 37-yard line. That's number nine, Cavill, making his second catch of the day. This is backyard ball. This is what Texas does and does well. They bring Cavill in motion. They say, you have the space between the tight end and the center. Go wherever you want. Major Applewhite will find you. Doesn't look too pretty. It's enough to move chains. Cavill is a guy that has a lot of versatility, making a huge contribution this year. A three-receiver set on first down and 10 for Texas. Williams the lone back. And here he is. Williams gains about two out to the 39, brought down by Waddle. Williams gained a yard on that play. It'll be second down and nine. Brown and Williams in the offset eye. And some flats down on the field. Terry Turlington, our man in the white hat. Four, 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 
The offensive line at Texas is really, really big. These guys go 6'7", 6'5", 6'5", 6'4". Their best athlete is a backup guy. He's 6'6", six, six, and Hunter Davis. This bunch really helped Ricky Williams. Not only did they have Major Applewhite making the plays and opening up some lane for him, he has a great fullback and a great coach calling plays for him in Greg Davis, but this offensive line is really good. They're pretty athletic, too, too. They move around pretty well. Applewhite fires it complete to Ryan Nunez, and Nunez scoots out to the 44-yard line, where he's pushed out of bounds. Nunez is a good story. He's a local kid who went to, Kent, to uh, Colorado and uh, played some running back. He's just a great athlete. Coaches say he got a little home tick, and he's a guy that came up with a couple of big plays at Nebraska last weekend. Major Applewhite there, not afraid to go to Ryan Nunez. Sets up a third down and three. Texas's opening drive of the ball game, 11-14 to play in the first quarter. Backs out of the eye. Now Brown is offset. The villain motion. Is that same play again? Cavill has a first down and then some. A touchdown saving tackle made on the play by Thompson and Edwards on Cavill. And a first down and goal to go for the Horn. Well, these teams play big, big play, bad play defense. And what I mean is when you're as aggressive as Rob Ryan is with his defense at OSU, watch them, they bring pressure. Bring in seven guys right here. That opens up things in the secondary. High percentage throw on the dump off to Cavill, and they, Texas does a great job of making you pay for it. OSU's going to make Texas force some bad plays, but at the same time, if Texas can ha have those types of plays in response, they should win the football game. At least that's what Mac Brown will do. Now they bring the ball back just outside the 10. First and 10, here's Ricky Williams. Williams brought down at the nine yard line. Just his second carry of the afternoon. Raymond Cato, number 55, the linebacker making the stop. Cato came into the game a little nicked up. Flag down on the play. Cato with a knee injury. And this will be a hold against the horn. Mac Brown on the sideline. His first year here at Texas. He was talking about the mental state of his team prior to this contest. He said that it was good to let them feel good about themselves after that huge win. That huge win against Nebraska. You mentioned Cato a moment ago. This guy's a really good player. Levels gets the start, but uh, Cato and Levels will split playing time. He is a physical type player that Rob Ryan really wants on the field today, and they didn't know how much he would go. Ryan said this guy's tough enough that uh, he'll he'll be if he can move at all, he'll be able to play. So it's good to see Cato out there. The ball pushed back the 18 yard. First and 19 to go. Here's Williams again. And Williams. Gets back about six on that run over the left tackle. Bishop and Raisler brought down by Alexander and Edwards. Ricky Williams Dean, gives you a lot of yak. You know, they talk about yards after contact. That's one thing that Williams produces a lot of. Well, he's explosive through the hole. At that time, he sort of slithered through. It's just whatever it happens to demand that particular day. And with this field, although this is prescription athletic turf and it drains extremely well, it's not going to be a fast track like it would be on a normal day. More slithering than explosion, perhaps, huh? Williams got six. Second and 13. On the screen, Cavill stays on his feet and brought down at the nine-yard line by number nine, Ricky Thompson, the free safety. It'll be third down now for Texas. That field, as you mentioned, very slippery. Nine thirty-two to play the first period. Deville with four receptions today. After that one, it sets up a third down and nine. Deville already has two touchdown catches this year, and this time. He lines up 
on the far side of the field. Obviously. Keep an eye on 82, Derek Lewis, a tremendous tight end. He'll probably be an NFL H-back. They like to go to him in situations like this. He's open. There he is. Touchdown. That's his sixth touchdown reception of the year. Derek Lewis. You called it. Well, you have a player that good, you, you ought to go to him. On a wet day like this, I think you try to keep the ball as conservatively thrown as you can in cases like this. Lewis just has sure hands. He is really good. This offense really features tight ends that Greg Davis and Mac Brown have had for years at North Carolina. It hasn't this year as much, but uh, Lewis has been there for big plays, Mark. Stops with the extra point. Number 82 puts it's on the board. And Texas lead by a touchdown when we come back to Austin. Back at Memorial Stadium, Texas leading Oklahoma State, seven to nothing. Ricky Williams not that busy on that drive that led to the touchdown. Just a few carries. Stockton to kick off. Jamal Bobbs, the leading kickoff returner in the Big 12, is back deep. For Oklahoma State. This is not Bob's, though. This is Reggie White. And White takes it out to the 22 yard line. That's where Tony Lindsay will take the reins on Oklahoma State with second offensive possession. First one resulted in three downs and then a punt. 8.47 to play in the first period. Defensively, Dean, oh. there's been a huge turnaround for Texas in the last five games. Yeah, they've made some position changes, which really has helped. But uh, the secondary has come along. The, the linebackers have improved. They've had steady play up front all along. But I think more, more than anything, Mark, they play with confidence now. And it continues to grow. Lindsay on the play fake. Wide open. Rivers. Marcellus Rivers. Has one guy to beat. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. One play later, we're tied almost. We're one point away from being tied. Hey, it's a tight ends day, huh? And the silence here <laughs> is deafening. 78 yards and a bolt of thunder into the end zone. Well, we'll look at it from the end zone as 85 Rivers is very, very athletic. He's a guy who is following the footsteps of Alonzo Mays, who was an All-American tight end at Oklahoma State and is now playing for Dave Wanstead at Chicago. They say that this guy out of the same high school, Douglas High School in Oklahoma City, is more advanced at this stage than Alonzo was as a freshman. You saw the speed and athleticism. He's a smallish tight end, but he is an athlete. Tim Sidness with the extra point, and we are tied at seven apiece. And there is a stunned silence here at Memorial Stadium. The very stoic, very laid-back head coach of Oklahoma State. Happy about that one. We'll be right back. Marcellus Rivers, the freshman with his fourth touchdown reception of the year. Nodding the game at seven apiece here in Austin. Sweatman kicking off. Jones tries to find an alley. Takes it out to the 34. This has been an interesting rivalry over the last few years, Dean. Well, it's been unbelievable. You talk about a swing. Texas got after Oklahoma State down here a couple of years ago. 71 to 14. A year later, last season, Tony Lindsay bolted here for a touchdown. One of three on the day, and he was the difference maker as Oklahoma State wins by 26 points. A turnaround of 83 points in one year. And Ricky Williams last year says that he didn't say it until this week that he was spit upon by the osu players that they intimidated his team and they knocked him down sometimes when he didn't have the football his team is rallying behind that and osu says it didn't happen don't want to pull on superman's cape too much pass by applewhite complete out to the 49 yard line and a first down that was wayne mcgarity the 5 9 190 pound senior guy who is a picture of perseverance Wayne McGarity here off the top of your screen will run a crossing route, and Texas does a good job of Major Applewhite buying time. He throws well on the run in the pocket. He can do it all throwing the football. Even with wet ball, he finds McGarity. Good throw, great catch, and one of the primary reasons for the resurgence of Texas is the outstanding receiving capabilities of McGarity and Cavill. 
Rod Williams a little bit. Less pressure. <laughs> Movement up front. That was Alton Weaver, number 95, the 6'4", 275 pound senior. First down and five now. Check it line of scrimmage by Major Applewhite. We'll see a blitz. Yep. And it's Williams between the tackles. Williams down to the 43 yard line. Applewhite's a film study nut. You know, you hear that about a lot of players, but they went on and on about his really sort of hyper. Takes film home, studies it, studies it, comes back and. What was it Greg Davis told him before the season when he started asking a lot of questions? He says, Major, you have five questions before now on the first game, so go ahead and use them up whenever you want. And the other quarterback starts <laughs> clapping and applauding. Uh, approaching seven minutes to play in the first period. We are tied at seven. Second down and two from the 42. Williams on the draw. And Williams has a Texas first down at the Oklahoma State. 38-yard line. LeBlanc making the tackle for Oklahoma State. First down and 10. They give it to the fullback this time. That's Ricky Brown, the other Ricky on the team. And they gained about three out to the 36. Second down and seven. For example, Mark, right now they have nine players within three yards of the line scrimmage. Kenyatta Wright calling signals out. Brown slips out of the backfield. Apple White downfield has a man. Touchdown, Texas. Wayne McGarity, 36 yards. Well, this game is unfolding as we thought it might from the standpoint of Oklahoma State gambling and putting their cornerbacks who have been exposed all season long into man coverage against two great receivers. Wayne McGarity, eight. He beats Edwards, who Adams has been tested a few times this year. Actually, interference and a one-handed catch. So Texas capitalizing on man-to-man -man coverage. Stockton's extra point is good. Wayne McGarity has had five knee surgeries, three reconstructive surgeries, still playing football. Bit of a miracle, isn't it, folks? Wow. We're going to take a short break. Come back. Texas lead by seven. Major Applewhite so far is eight of nine passing. Two touchdowns, totaling 133 yards. And there's Garrity. Guy who's just fortunate enough to be playing football again after numerous knee surgeries, as I mentioned, going to break. Stockton with the kickoff. And Hobbs will take it out of the end zone, three yards deep. And Bob's is upended at the 23-yard line. And that's where they'll start off offensively. Brooks making the tackle for Texas. Well, Solomon Smith Barney remembers the last Heisman Trophy winner here at the University of Texas. And last saw that trophy or a replica of that trophy on display at the Athletic Football Center here. Earl Campbell, number 20. Don't show that video. Not only do I, <laughs> did I play against him, he beat that team he's lined up against. The Earl of Tyler, still a presence here at UT. Tyler Rose. First down and 10. Lindsey, his receiver broke off the pattern and it's incomplete. Some people believe Earl Campbell was as good a running back as there's ever been, maybe even better in pros than he was in college, especially those first few years for Love You Blue down there in Houston. <laughs> Were they something else? Pastoranian, Billy White Shoes. One Monday night football game. Yeah. I believe it was against the Dolphins, where he just could not be stuck. Still maintains an office here at the University of Texas and frequently drops in and speaks to the players. Has a good relationship, especially with Ray Williams. The draw play. Simmons takes it out to the 34-yard line, close to the first down. But that's what could kill Oklahoma State today if Texas continues to capitalize. Fumble down on the field, and the official is the rule that the fullback Aikens was down on the play first. So the Cowboys will retain possession at the 37-yard line, going back to McGarity in that catch to the touchdown moments ago. It was McGarity that cut the pass for the touchdown to beat Nebraska last week. Good shot of him. 
Yeah, Rob Ryan is a guy that uh, does not lack for confidence, and one of the things that that does is that it, it, it makes his players play with confidence. You know, they, it's a different attitude. Oklahoma State really turned this thing around. Last year was a remarkable season for them, and Rob Bunch did a terrific job. This year, not as effective, uh, but one of the reasons that they have two cornerbacks in the NFL, R.W. McCorders with the 49ers, and, of course, Kevin Williams has had a terrific year, and he's in the NFL. Tough to replace that kind of talent. The ball is tipped at the line of scrimmage, and it falls a complete, setting up third down and seven now for Oklahoma State. They are rolling along. Houston, nut, go get them. Former Cowboy. Cowboy. Yeah. Backside pressure, fumble. Who's got it? Still loose. Texas ball at the 28-yard line. DeAndre Lewis, number four, with the backside pressure to hit Lindsey and cause the bumble. Well, you get pressure from the backside. Linebacker Lewis, and one of the more athletic players, comes on a blitz, goes unblocked. Quarterback can't stand that. Oh, he'll feel that one tomorrow. It's, the ball goes to the church. Here's a mistake, though. The ball should have been pounded upon. Don't go for a touchdown in this situation. There's too much confusion. The ball is wet. The field is wet. You can bet when films or tape are played back tomorrow, the coaches will be on their players about that. Big turnover, though. Aaron Humphrey, Dean, finally pouncing on the loose ball. First and 10 for the Horns from the 27-yard line of Oklahoma State. Play fake. Applewhite still red hot. Brown. <laughs> Got a good block downfield, and Brown is out of bounds. It'll be first and 10 from the four-yard line. Cato finally making the tackle for Oklahoma State. Hey, we've got to give the propers to Ricky Brown, 44. He's a great kid. He's a guy that uh, really, if there is an eclectic back on this team, it would be him. He's a guy who writes poetry. He's extremely unselfish. And really, whenever you see Ricky Williams, you see number 44 there. And he gets about two carries a game, and then they'll throw him the ball a couple times. That's about it. Isn't it funny how we almost forgot about him? Yeah. Going through oh, our meetings yeah. today? I had to do late homework <laughs> on him. Real late. An unsung hero in the backfield, <laughs> picking up 24 yards on that catch. First and goal for Texas. The villain motion. Williams. Touchdown, Ricky Williams. Oklahoma State is not good enough to turn the ball over to this explosive Texas offense on its side of the 50. Ricky Williams, this is the explosive burst I mentioned earlier. He lines up deep in the backfield, nine yards deep, and explodes through. Strong, powerful, big side, 225 pounds of explosion. An incredible student athlete, Stockton, with the extra points. And that is where... With that touchdown, Williams again rewriting the record book. Welcome back to Darrell Royal Memorial Stadium in Austin, Texas. Oklahoma State trails Texas by 11 after that last field goal. Ricky Williams, Dean, has just 17 yards. I'm surprised, and what does it mean that he only has 17 yards, but they're still up by 11 points? It means that Rob Ryan and Oklahoma State are successful in doing what they said they would do. We will stop Ricky Williams. Texas is answered for that. This, this seems to be just another opponent who says passes don't count. <laughs> Scoreboard says 21 to 10. And first and 10, Applewhite to pass. Going up top on the post. Just missing McGarrity. It'll be second down and 10. So far, they've passed well. 9 of 11 for Applewhite, 157 yards. And two touchdowns, second and ten. Here's the Heisman candidate, and he got rocked in the backfield that time. Stopped at the 25-yard line. Number 28 came up. Evan Howell for run support did a good job that time. Third down and ten. They come with a blitz. Complete to Cavill and men. Tommy Cavill. Broke somebody's ankles out there. What a move. 14-yard pickup and a first down for the Longhorns converting on third down. Texas is one of the best teams in the country at picking up the blitz. Watch the offensive line up front. You're right. They do come with the blitz, a heavy blitz. 
but Texas works on this every day at practice. They're going to take what Oklahoma State has to give them in the secondary. If you blitz that many, if you're Oklahoma State, you're either going to be up tight, man-to-man, -man, and you have a, a, the risk of being deep. But Oklahoma State has changed against philosophy some, and they're going to give up those curls. And that time, Cavill was good enough to take the catch short of the first down marker and convert it. Texas with 21 points on the board. Ricky can throw it. That's what he does. And it's picked off. Ricky Thompson, number nine, coming up with a pick for Oklahoma State. Well, flags down. Our late flag on the play. Ricky Thompson's a great player, and that was not a great pass. I don't know about the play call. Ricky Williams is uh, can do about everything, but throw the football. I don't know. He tried a, a week or two ago to no to no success, but no success. We'll have to figure out what this penalty is all about. But that ball thrown by Ricky Williams hung up there for a long time, and it may have been deflected near the line of scrimmage. A couple of Rickies going after it, and the turnover for Oklahoma State is what it needed. Nine. A couple of Rickies. Right there is Ricky Thompson, the free safety for the Cowboys. And I think you know the other Ricky. So Ricky one will throw to Ricky nine. And this one comes end over end. For Major, it's not that big a deal to have a little bit of a wet ball. But for Ricky, it is. Man wasn't open anyway, and perhaps he was trying to throw that one away. But playing uh, deep safety. Yeah. Kenyatta Wright, number seven, actually tipped it for Ricky Thompson. And now, Dean Blevins. Yep. Oklahoma State with very good field position at the 30-yard line. Well, they're lining up with about 10 tight ends with one back back there looking like it's power football. They love to play two and three different tight ends. Ace formation, and this is the tailback of Nathan Simmons falling forward to the 27-yard line. Second down and seven now for Tony Lindsay. The option. And Lindsay slips and falls at the 22-yard line. Well, that's play that uh, on a drive field, you probably have a chance for good yardage for Tony Lindsay. Oklahoma State strings that one out pretty nicely and finds an alley. But, but you know, Bob Simmons is a guy, Mark, who has won here as an assistant at Colorado. He said he's been here three times and won. He said this can be a tough place to play, but if you get ahead, you can take the crowd out. The team's not ahead, and this is a, a crowd that is so fired up about a team right now. They're effective in the game. Over 80,000 strong on third and three. Nathan Simmons has the Oklahoma State first down. Plowing his way down to the 11-yard line. Quinton Jammer, the free safety, making the tackle. It'll be first and 10 for the Cap Boats. Nathan Simmons, so impressive. Now doing graduate work. But he's working on building a foundation for abused children and battered women. All right, two guys to watch at here, Mark, on the replay. A couple of blocks. One by Camacho, right there, 75. Turns his man out, and Nathan Simmons is able to work off of the block and then watch on the outside Sean Love does a terrific job four here he is again just inside the 10 maybe at 10 yard line on first and 10 Akins and Simmons in the backfield Lindsay has time and it's incomplete a lot of traffic over the middle Grissom was the intended receiver. Yep. Third down and eight. Rivers lines up to the right of Lindsay. They blitz. Lindsay falls. It's going to be ruled Oklahoma State ball. They're going to say that Lindsay slipped and was down. And it'll be fourth down. The field goal unit comes in for Oklahoma State. He's already made one today. Chris Aluka holding, I wouldn't expect the fake, but he is a quarterback and a good thrower. And he nails it from 33 yards out. So off the Ricky Williams interception, Sidness gets the field goal, and Oklahoma State draws to within eight when we come back. For the Cowboys at the 48-yard line, Jamal Fobbs now getting a shot at tailback. And he Woo. is drilled. 
at the 49-yard line by Dusty Renfro. Dusty shaking the dust out of Fobbs. Hey, played against Texas in some great games at the uh, era. Empty formation has a man and out through the fingers of Jamal Fobbs. They had a great matchup downfield, Dean. Unable to convert, though. Speaking of uh, Texas at that time, Darrell Royal joins us at halftime. But Fobbs, we mentioned earlier that Oklahoma State has to get him in the game. This guy is a really special player. It's gotten to where Simmons gets almost all the carries in the backfield. So we're trying to figure out a way to get Fobbs into some pass routes. He has terrific hands, so they're flanking him out some. Four wide receivers this time. Five wide receivers. Never have seen this under Bob Simmons. Yeah, they go in empty formation again. Not that much success on third down today. This time, Sean Love. Now, what's Love got to do with it? He's got a first down. They move the chains with 7.46 to play in the first half, trailing by eight. Jammer and McCowan making the stop, but not after a pickup of 16 yards by number four, Sean Love, out of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Oh, college ball is so much fun right now. Throw five wide receivers out there. I keep calling it flag football and pads. <laughs> it's that way. You get a lot of man-to-man -man coverage. It's just a uh, fun thing. And that's what Bob Simmons is looking for in, in some crazy formation. Dean, Tony Simmons throwing the ball a little better today. I call him Simmons sometimes, too. Tony Lindsay. Tony Lindsay. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he is. And here's Fox. They are integrating him into the offense. And Fobbs travels down to the 12-yard line. Another first down for the Oklahoma State Cowboys. It was a wonderful high school play. Very elusive, as you saw there. He's had some great touches in the last couple of series. Here he is again. Not much room over the left side of the line, running over Camacho and Davis. A great change of pace, though, for the Cowboys, Mark, because in Nathan Simmons, you have more of a power guy, an inside-the-tackles runner, and although Fobbs can run that way at times, he's more of a breakaway threat. A option to the short side of the field. Lindsey kicks it. Touchdown, Cowboys! Tony Lindsey makes plays. Great job by Lindsey this time, breaking tackles. He's a guy that is, uh, we mentioned slithery earlier on a day like this, it seems the appropriate word, but there, oh, oh, right there. And that is a pretty good tackler guy. That's Dusty Renfro. One of the problems with that five flat speed is that if you're not any faster than that, you're gonna be behind quarterbacks and running backs who on the corner in option football can run past you. That's exactly what happened there. And Dean, it appears as if Oklahoma State is gonna go for the two point conversion all right, Oklahoma State, if you're the Cowboys here, you do one of two things. They'll go straight to the line of scrimmage. They'll either go shotgun or they'll run option. They come out, not uh -oh. business. Bob's is the tailback, the option, and Lindsey gets in for the two points. So we are knotted at 21 apiece. You have to be impressed with the way that Oklahoma State has kept its composure after falling down big early in the game. Nice job of execution, Cowboy. Oh a little fast break, huh? That's right. <laughs> fast break, two-point conversion, and Rush Wetman is set to kick off. We're tied at 21, folks. Jeremy Jones and Ryan Nunez back deep. This is Jones. Flag down at the 20-yard line. Now another flag down. You really sense the momentum has shifted in favor of Oklahoma State. And it will be against the Longhorns. That infraction against Texas pushed the ball back to the nine-yard line. Story of the game so far, Texas hurting itself, but really it's more that Oklahoma State and Rob Ryan able to back up what they said coming into this game, and that's that we will shut down Ricky Williams. Eight carries, 21 yards. First down and 10. Williams out of the backfield in the flat. Makes one tackle of this. And is out to the 25-yard line and a first down for Texas. Now, Texas has had some big drives. They've had some wonderful drives again, the Nebraska upset. And this is one they would really like to take and put it in the end zone and gobble up some clock. The teams with two timeouts remaining in the first half. The villain motion. This is Williams. 
tough sledding between the tackles. The Cowboys, obviously difficult against them on Texas Tech and in Texas A&M with that wrecking crew. Williams in motion. Todd is a receiver. Applewhite under pressure. They come with a blitz, and they sack him back at the 27-yard line. Brought down by Cato, number 55, number 95, Weaver. Oklahoma State is eighth in the country in sacks. That was their 24th of the season. Third down and 10. Applewhite completes to Cavill. Brought down at the 39-yard line. A pickup of 12 and a first down. Texas doing well converting on third down today. Ricky Thompson making the tackle for Oklahoma State. Well, they have big plays, too. <laughs> A lot of cheese up there. This is Ricky yeah. Williams. Have you ever seen a team as big as those guys? Especially on the offensive line. Aaron Gibson goes about 380, and he can do the splits. I mean, I've just never seen, seen anything like it. He's got a little brother who's 6'3 and weighs 315 pounds. Of course, he's only in the eighth grade. Little brother. Yeah. Look at the Big 12 today. Missouri rolling right along, defeating Colorado. And Nebraska bouncing back from losing last week at home against Texas. You know, Daryl Dickey in North Texas down there in the fourth quarter against Kansas. Kansas is not a bad football team. Daryl Dickey's bunch has played a really difficult schedule. They've only won a couple of games, but uh, that's, that's pretty impressive. That was not over. He may get them. Second down and three. Seville again. But the big thing, Mark, is that they have to have the ability to take the shots at going deep when they given the opportunity and you saw that at Carolina you've seen that today yeah with uh, McGarity on the touchdown catch Applewhite foot pass again again Ricky Williams a receiver too Ricky Williams striking a Heisman pose now watch out how you say that he doesn't do that didn't you hear that story this morning he ain't gonna strike a Heisman pose at least not yet <laughs> The boy ain't hurt you in so many ways, K-Mark. So versatile. And here's an example. Right there, Ricky Williams, 34. Stick him in man camera. I ain't got a problem here with our telestrator today. Come on, baby. Get off there. And Williams is gone. Got a good block from Derek Lewis, the tight end, Gene, along the way. Stockton in now for the extra point. That's Texas. Goes up by seven. No wonder the pros were saying that he would have been a top five pick a year ago. Not only is he a good receiver, a part of me, a runner, good receiver too, Gene. To do it all. From the end zone, we'll take a look at what Oklahoma State sees in Ricky Williams coming out. Yeah, shut him off in the running game, but then they're smart enough to get him out on the corner and try to put him in some open field situation. Trent Alexander had no chance. Boy, him against Ricky Williams against Trent Alexander, that's like the U.S. against Grenada. <laughs> Adrian Applewhite has called a very good game today, putting up 28 points on the board. He does look like Opie a little bit. <laughs> that's what they call him. That's what the teammates call him. Well, he's a guy who relies on his brains and his speed and his rhythm. And it gets him there. Stockton picks it up. This is Fox. Bob's cutting it upfield after going east-west most of the way. And he's pushed out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Simmons back in a tailback. A twins rock formation for Oklahoma State. Simmons is broke up at the 32. The charge and surge led by Cedric Woodard, number 50, the 6'3", 280-pound junior. More effective as a receiver today. Simmons again dropped up just sort of the 34-yard line. The third down and long for Oklahoma State. Anthony Hicks, number 55, making the tackle. Enough said. Texas comes on a blitz. Fobbs couldn't hang on to it, and he had a couple of blockers out there, too. It's incomplete. And a flag down on the play, too. 
after the blow. Cobbs appeared to be looking upfield as he caught the ball. Well, we're going to have an unsportsmanlike penalty, I believe, on Oklahoma State. That's a gimme play right there. Bedweather will come back, and he hasn't had many problems there. But penalties is something you mentioned earlier. Sometimes you just can't put your finger on it. This will cost them some field position. Under heavy pressure, not a great punt. And it takes a Texas bounce. So Oklahoma State imploding a personal conduct foul and penalty coupled with an eight-yard punt and Texas will take over deep in Oklahoma State territory first and ten with 144 to play in the first half Apple one out of the shotgun this time he fires complete at the 24-yard line that Brian White number one who made it to catch last week and that comeback victory against Nebraska. There he is, number one, the 5 and senior. Second down and seven. The clock's still running. Texas out of timeouts. They burned all of the timeouts. So the Texas will Out of the shotgun again. The confusion, and Applewhite was looking at McGarity. Also had Caville on that side of the field. Applewhite goes back to McGarry. Got to block. McGarry down to the nine-yard line. There's a flag down on the play, though. Back at the 22, Troy West made the stop on the play for Oklahoma State. But let's see what this flag is all about. Well, it'll go against Texas. They'll bring that one back. And it's interesting. The play might have been able to be successful without the, the clip. So it's up third and 13 now. 44 seconds play in the half. Williams falls forward out of bounds at the 22. Ricky Thompson made the tackle. This one will be about 39 yards out of the holes of Brian White, the receiver. Stocking his first field goal attempt today. And he drills it. Right down the pipe. Yeah, he's a good kicker. Not, not a good punter at this stage of his <laughs> career, but a good kicker. That'll atone for the poor punts earlier. As Texas goes up. 31 to 21. This is ABC Sports, home of the Bowl Championship Series. Welcome back to Memorial Stadium in Austin, Texas. Time out for the Morgan Stanley Dean Witter first half stat. Go down the page and Whoa. look at those numbers, especially the lack of rushing from Texas. Well, that's, 31 yards. Yeah, that, that's especially effective. As you're right, but you choose your poison. Look at the passing yards. Major Applewhite's on to a 500-yard day, a 538-yard day, if my math is correct. Unbelievable. Yeah, I'm sure that he won't get there, but, you know, you do choose your poison with these guys. Do you commit to stop Ricky Williams? If you do, look at what, what they will do throwing the football. Cavill, nine receptions in the first half alone. Yeah, I don't think we've heard the last of Ricky Williams running the ball in the game. That was Jones out to the 18-yard line. Texas will start off with possession here in the second half. Bubba Jacks, there's been some good ones, but the, he sort of fits in there, doesn't he? Oh, Major Applewhite. Got the talent, too, to go with the name. This time, though, he's sacked back at 12-yard line. Oklahoma State bringing some pressure. Wall takes advantage of him. Last year, he was Ricky Williams' worst nightmare. Sets up a second down and 17. Applewhite has time, fires. It's ruled complete at the 23 yard line. Wayne McGarity, the 5'9 senior. Texas has to get to the 29 yard line for the first down. Apple wide out of the shotgun. Complete over the middle and a first down to number 22, Ryan Nunez, the transfer from Colorado. That's an interesting comment. First down and 10, backs out of the eye. This time he looks up top, 
on post, and it's incomplete intended for McGarity again. So that West Coast offense always keeps honest, if nothing else. They go underneath a couple of times and then try to strike up the long ball with McGarity, although yeah. it was incomplete. Here's Ricky Williams, three on one tackler. Brought down in a pile of orange and white jerseys. They was trying to get that uniform look. That yeah. was a point of emphasis this year, as they told us in our meetings. Yeah, they spent more time looking at the socks than they did on, you know, how to, how to call pass interference. Third down and eight. Oklahoma State blitzing. Applewhite has his receiver McGarity. Face mask. And there's a flag. That's exactly what it was, Dean. Wayne McGarity has been the clutch receiver all year for Applewhite. Adam Edwards, number five, the perpetrator on play. So the, the assignment all day for Oklahoma State has been and continues to be the cornerbacks, specifically Edwards and Flowers, and also Howell, to be able to lock up with McGarity and Cavill, and they've not done that successfully. Dean, that was a third and eight, and third down is a barometer of success. They have been ver done very well today, Texas has. They're seven of nine on third down conversions today. Well, but those two players have proven irreplaceable. Bob Simmons will find a way to get it done, though. In the subsequent years. Oh, here's here's Ricky here. Williams running right over the left guard, Reisler, and the center, Russell Gaskin, tackled by Kenyatta Wright. Ricky Williams, meanwhile, counting down to that NCAA rushing record. Apple wants to pass. Nunez complete at the six-yard line. Ryan Nunez, number 22, was working on Marcus Jones, number 15. I tell you, this is not an easy throw, and it's not an easy catch. It is perfectly executed on the it's a rollout pass, sprint out pass. Nunez with a good route defensively, and, you know, you'd like for Marcus Jones if you're coaching him to be a little bit tighter, but when you execute it that well, it's almost impossible. He, I mean, he, Mark, he could have been up within a step of him and it would have been completed. That is not an easy throw and catch. Talking to me, you said Marcus Jones. Yeah, Marcus Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Applewhite with some impressive numbers, a career-high 308-yard passing. <laughs> Nunez in motion. Now Applewhite checking. He's up at the line with a couple of plays. The toss sweep. To Ricky Williams. Oh, he made a nice swim move, spin move, but was tackled by Trent Alexander, the strong safety who stayed home. You're right. Which was to the credit of Matt Brown and his coaching staff. And now Applewhite doesn't like what he sees and calls a timeout with 10.21 to play in the third period. That's their first one of the second half. A look at the consummate players coach. Matt Brown has got things going here in Austin. We'll be right back. Second and goal for the Texas Longhorns. They lead by 10 with 10.21 to play here at Memorial Stadium in Austin. I'm Mark Jones along with Dean Blevins, and they're ready to fire off that can. It goes off each and every time. The Longhorns put it in the end zone. Goes to the ball at the eight-yard line. A waggle into the end zone. Picked off. Levels. Dwayne Levels, the freshman, comes up with the pick off the tip pass. Boy, it's a big play for the Cowboy defense. Won by, yes, Ricky Williams. Lindsey over the middle complete. And a first down for Oklahoma State out at the 22-yard line. Marcellus Rivers, number 85. First down and 10. Simmons trying to cut back with poor footing falls forward to the 25 yard line quarterbacks sometimes <laughs> are pretty vociferous but that's what Ron Kalkani said happens Tony Lindsay breaks three tackles <laughs> out to the 31 yard line and feel sacrilegious to do it but I'm taking Kansas State with the second best football player in America Michael Bishop third and two they give it to the fullback that's Kevin Brown he is close to the first down Depends on the spot. Certainly talented. We're going to take a short break and come back right after this. 
David Camacho who threw the attending to him a sideline and it appeared to be and we'll try to take a look at it in a moment a knee that was rolled upon fourth and one and Lindsay keeps it himself and he has the first down for the Cowboys they've had some shuffling on the offensive line we'll see what kind of substitution they make on first down and ten now Lindsay options Keeps it himself out to the 38-yard line. Brought down by Aaron Humphrey. Good pursuit down the line by number 49. Trying to get some information on his injury for you. Second down and five. Lindsey running the option again. Patiently waiting for the whole touchdown team. And moving ahead for the first down for the Cowboys. First down and 10 from the 47. Play fake. Lindsey has his man a juggling act by Ethan Howell, number 19, complete two yards short of the first down at the 45-yard line. Gives them a second down and short, two yards to go. They haven't seen that too many times this afternoon. First down, Nathan Simmons, down near the 35-yard line. Two tights and two wideouts. Lindsey goes up top, but Richardson stopped. Lindsay may have thought it was a streak or fly pattern, and Richardson broke it off. Surprise. And look at the big 12 action today. Kansas State putting it on Baylor, and you were talking about their quarterback, Michael Bishop. The other score mark was Arkansas 34, Ole Miss nothing. That was a surprise. Nathan Simmons getting it done down to the 27 yard line, tackled by Hicks. And Simmons. Close to a first down for Oklahoma State. Because he is sticking with the game plan. We mentioned early Mark, but it looked like Cowboys could be blown out early, that it was important that they stick with it. And they've done that. They converted on a fourth down to keep the drive alive earlier. This is third and one. Lindsey on the option has the first down of the Cowboys to keep hope alive. With under five minutes to play now in the third period. The best thing to do against the option is just gang up, get a lot of people at the point of the ball carrier. But the Cowboys very effective in option play. Lindsey trying to break containment. Fires over the head of Sean Love incomplete. Second down and 10. This is Richardson on the around. Terrence Richardson. Nice run. It depends where they mark it, but he could have an Oklahoma State first down. It is first down for Tony Lindsey. The pitch and sliding underneath the pile is Nathan Simmons. But you don't see a lot of five flat middle or linebackers or linebackers in general. Those are the two that remain healthy. That's out of the eye on second down and goal for Oklahoma State. Lindsay into the end zone and it's knocked away, intended for Rivers. Number 17, Joe Walker broke that up. Texas again at the cornerback. He's fired up. He is perhaps the best corner, best corner cover guy around. From the seven-yard line, it is third down and goal. This is the 17th play of the Cowboy Drive. They have eaten up a lot of clock in this period. Complete. And who was there to make the stop? Dusty Renfro. Nathan Simmons goes down at the five, but there may have been a face mask call. Yeah, if this is a face mask call, this is really big for Texas. Once again, the Cowboys would be able to convert or be in position to on a third down because they have him jammed up right there. There's your face mask by Dusty Renfro. Dusty Renfro may have the opportunity. Just may have the opportunity to be a Zach Thomas at the next level. You never know. Yeah, I think he's tough. He's got good instincts. The, the speed difference probably will keep him from having that chance. Two tight end formation. Lindsey keeps it and scores the touchdown for Oklahoma State. What was the play? Option, yeah. See it a lot in colleges these days, and particularly with Tony Lindsey. That caps an extremely important drive for the Oklahoma State Cowboys. 19 play drive, and here's the punctuation mark. Push up front. Camacho, 75, gets his man in the end zone. Tony Lindsay, you just put more men than they can defend. That's all it is. 
Tim Sidness in for the extra point. You know, OSU is a great zone blocking team, and that's what they've been very effective doing this afternoon. Last year's newcomer of the year is fighting back and finding some consistency today. The lead now down to three for the Longhorns. We'll be right back. This is ABC Sports, home of the Bowl Championship Series. Welcome back to Memorial Stadium in Austin, Texas. A sellout crowd watching on hand as the Longhorns lead Oklahoma State by three points as we get set for the beginning of the fourth period of play. Bebo still jacked up. <laughs> Chris docked it into a field goal from 45 yards out, out of the hold of Brian White. A negligible win at his back. Leg plenty strong enough. And he got it. It's good. He's, He's got been, a lock for that this year. Yeah, like, look at those arms. Look at those muscles. I understand that uh, he is a buffed up guy. He's one of those guys that uh, Jeff Madden, well, Mad Dog, has in the weight room. And okay. this guy takes it seriously. He says, I'm the most buffed kicker in America. Kicks like a kicker as the body of a linebacker. Chris Stockton, the high school linebacker. Yeah, it's all good. We'll be right back. Chris Stockton said to kick off, said he had the body of a linebacker, high school linebacker. 5'9", <laughs> 185 pounds. Look at he didn't have much body fat, though. <laughs> Gotta give him that. Small fobs back deep, Oklahoma State. Cowboys trailing by six. Just underway here in the fourth period of play. At the goal line, it's gonna be Chris and Grissom is tackled at the 20-yard line. Tony Lindsay led a very long, time-consuming drive the last time he had the reins of the offense. Let's see what he does this time out. 94 yards, used up 618 on the clock after that interception thrown by Applewhite. They trailed by just six, and Dean, that's a point conversion they went for earlier, but it kind of works in their favor at this point. Yeah, after six points, you're up. Their biggest problems this year have been not converting third downs and making plays and inconsistent quarterback play. That has not been a problem today. Small Fobbs now in his tailback. Maybe Coach Simmons going for a fresher pair of legs in the backfield. Going into the fourth quarter here. And I think that they sat down as staff and said that uh, what we talked about earlier, Jamal Fobbs simply has not carried it enough. In the Oklahoma game he didn't hardly touch it. Last week, I think he might have had a rush or two. Oklahoma top rusher a year ago. That's 4 4 speed. Second down and eight. Option and Lindsay keeps it himself. Out to the 27 yard line. It'll be third down, about three to go for the Cowboys. Woodard, number 50, making the tackle. Chris Aluka is a guy here, number eight, who has gotten a lot of snaps. He is a, has a stronger arm than Tony Lindsay. Bob Simmons is not afraid to play him, but in a game like this, he told us today he thought he would put him in the game. But, you know, I think since the option is such an integral part of what Oklahoma State is doing right now, that he gives the Cowboys such a better chance to succeed. Nothing happening up the middle for Hobbs. He's stopped up by Justy Renfro, number 46, right in the middle of the fray. Well, before now, the Cowboys will punt. Well, I don't like to second-guess calls that often, but, you know, if we're going to have 140 plays, we can occasionally second-guess one, especially since we have the luxury of seeing it again. Texas is strong in the middle. They have two dynamite defensive down people in two of the three at Hampton, Woodard, and Rogers. And then also their linebackers that don't run as well are good plug-up guys. I mean, Renfro and Hicks are guys who are going to knock you back. And sometimes I think it's better to keep testing the outside as that one's almost blocked. Yeah, Elder gets it off under heavy pressure. It gets a very, very good roll down to the 29-yard line. Dusty Renfro making stop on third down and three moments ago. A 45-yard punt. Nothing on the return. Will Tony Lindsay get one more crack? Probably when we come back. Welcome back to Memorial Stadium. I'm Mark Jones along with Dean Blevins. 
a look at the Oklahoma offensive line who may not have gotten it done on that last series critical third down and three they were stopped up a nice play by Dusty Renfro first and ten Longhorns from the 29 Williams in motion out to the top of your screen it's Brown and there's a flag down They were literally inches away from a victory. Applewhite now oddling at the line. On the post, incomplete intended from Garrity. That's a play that they've gone to, I think, three or four times this afternoon and have yet to connect on. We might well see this game turn on whether one of those plays is going to work or not. Second and 15, Ryan Nunez, and he gets stuck by Evan Howell, one of the twins on this Cowboy team. So it'll be third down and long for Texas. And story of the game offensively for the Longhorns has been that Ricky Williams has not run for a lot of yards. Lowest game total in his career with 10 more carries was 36 last year against UCLA Bruin. Today, 16 attempts rushing for just 32 yards. Well, I enjoy coming down to Austin and calling his games, but he may not ever want me to be down here again. You've done both of those. Both of those games, right. Now, let's remember, Ricky has had uh, three receptions, 74 yards, and he's had two touchdowns. Yeah, still an offensive weapon, even when he doesn't touch the ball. Half wide up top. There it is. From charity again. And this one is really incomplete. Jones covering, and it's incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Well, the game's real simple now, sitting at home. Ricky Williams has been taken out of the game, as Rob Ryan said. Mac Brown doesn't like this call, but once again, it's the same thing we did about a minute and a half ago. Those two guys locked in man coverage, one-on-one. -on -one. Take a look and see if McGarity is inbounds on this, if he has control. He did one, juggle it. He's one foot in. I don't think so. That is really tough to call when the home team is the team that's receiving the pass right in front of the coaching staff. I do believe that's a correct call. Mark? Yeah, it looks think? good to me. I thought the official made the right call. Richardson called for the fair catch. Mac Brown still working the official on the near side there. A 44-yard punt, meanwhile. Nothing on the return. Lindsay fires and it's ruled incomplete at the 43. You know, we've shown this thing in slow motion and we're pretty sure that it's, <laughs> it's the correct call, but how do you like to be a, an official in this case? You've got to call it. You got Here's the time you have. You've got to call it right now. Blow your whistle. Instantaneous. There you go. He says no question about it in the back of my mind. He goes, I hope. <laughs> uh. Nobody said it would be easy being referee. <laughs> Look at this offense by half. Second and ten. Lindsey completes it. And look at him. Look at Rivers just carry two men near the first down marker at the 45-yard line. That is a show of strength and determination. This Oklahoma State team certainly has taken on the personality of their coach, Bob Simmons. Calm and poised. Lindsey. And it caught. Oh, man, how do you like that? Touchdown, Cowboys. Houdini, where are you? 55 yards. And Oklahoma State can go up with an extra point. <laughs> you thought you had seen everything, huh? Well, this was just the tied in look. Marcellus Rivers is who Lindsay's trying to force this ball to. Tip, and yes, that is legal. <laughs> Ethan Howell. Howell today with his third reception for 100 yards total and one touchdown. <laughs> There's only one guy on Oklahoma State's team that might have. And it's blocked. This can be returned for points. 
They could have taken the lead. Instead, the Longhorns come up with a great special team play. Texas didn't block any last year. They blocked four kicks already this year. None a year ago. They're, they've improved dramatically in that area. Dean, you had said at the top of the show that special teams has knocked the strong suit this year for the Cowboys. No, nah, it's really been down. They've been a team notoriously good. Let's see. It was from the middle, perhaps a little low. You can never take that extra point for granted. What time? 10.25 to play the fourth quarter. We are knotted at 34 apiece. Wetman kicking off. Not a deep one. Nunez at the 15. Out to the 30-yard line and lots of linen down on the pitch. Flag day. Ricky Williams in motion. Applewhite. Complete. And a first down at the 34-yard line by McGarity. And there was a huge cushion that time given to McGarity by Marcus Jones. I wish I could come up with something more brilliant to say, but actually it is Texas exploiting the cornerbacks at Oklahoma State, taking what they give them. They can get the five and eight yard catch. What has killed teams in the past this year has been Texas can explode and go the rest of the way. Oklahoma State there is at least fortunate enough to stop them for only 12 or 14 yards. There's 10 minutes to play now in the four. Three receiver set. Applewhite completes the pass, 39-yard line. That's Cavill again on that route that he's running so often today. I mean, Texas is looking to go play for the championship. OSU's wanting to go to a bowl, and Ricky Williams wanting to win the Heisman. It's tied. Come on a blitz. There's Ricky Williams. Ricky Williams had a first down at the 49-yard line. Thompson and Knowles making the tackle for Oklahoma State. Look at that score. Wow. Who would have thought it? I mean, Michigan State is such an up and down team. 13 minutes to go in that one. And Ohio State, you know, they had the Michigan staring at them after their impressive win today. And, geez, they may not be undefeated when they get there. Look what happened at UCLA last week. The right. margin of victory exactly. really hurt them in the bowl championship series poll. Thank pardon me. Big drop. Ohio State facing that prospect now. Leap to McGarity. Oh, he put it on spin drew time. What a move. <laughs> McGarity beating Evan Howell, number 28 on the play. And was for a chop block on the offense. Williams in motion. He's the intended receiver. He's open. White is mad, Williams is mad, and Matt Brown is hotter than July. Well, I don't think we need to see a replay on this one to know if Ricky Williams stayed in bounds, which I'm certain he did, that that was a bad call. And the call was made on the Texas sideline right in front of Matt Brown. Ricky Williams is out here on the flank, lower portion of your screen, one-on-one. -on -one. His speed gets him past the defender. He does a good job of adjusting to the football. The quarterback has no clue where the football is. And that is clearly pass interference. That ball was underthrown. If it's not, Williams yeah. in. Really impressed being with the patterns he runs out of the backfield. Yeah, no, he's he's got the... Uh, you know what? They said that he's the smartest player in terms of understanding the offense that they had. Said that he understood in a matter of a couple of days and came in. So not only do you have a, a player who's strong and fast and big and durable, but you have a kid with a wonderful attitude, and he's also the brightest you have. We're going to take a short break. Texas clinging and tied with Oklahoma State when we come back.
They've turned it up a notch here at Memorial Stadium. 8.25 to play in the quarter. Fourth quarter, second down and 28 Texas. McCarity on the Flender screen. Nowhere to go. Right down at the 33-yard line. They've got to get to the 49 for the first down. Troy West, number six, making the stop for the Cowboys. We'll give you a little more in, the, in a minute. Third down and long. Apple went under pressure and brought down to the 31-yard line. Number 92, Corey Mallory, the 6'1 junior from Detroit, Michigan. One of Oklahoma State's best defensive linemen coming up with a big play. Courtney Mallory is very athletic. I mean, he moves around extremely well for a guy just under 300 pounds. He has really been solid for them this year. Really good in the run game, but that was a huge play for the Cowboy defense as the offense with a red-hot Tony Lindsay get the ball back. Stockton gets off a better punt this time. Richardson with an opportunity to return it. Terrence Richardson has an alley. And he's knocked out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Crowd coming alive a little bit here. The first and 10 for Oklahoma State. Lindsay on the option. Number 10. Runs it into the boundary. Ball is down at the 46. Tackled by number 46, Duffy Renfro. And you know what, Dean? We said at the top of the day he had to have a good day, Tony. Well, and he's look at his numbers there. He's completed nine balls for 236 yards. Yeah, one of them was a tip that he was fortunate on, but he's got two touchdowns passing, but he's also run the option very well and has two more touchdowns running. He's been a Longhorn killer the last couple of years. Lindsay is back. The hand on Nathan Simmons. Nathan Simmons still in a speed and his forward progress will be marked near a first down at the Texas 46 or 47 yard line. On the option, Lindsay brought down from behind at the 46 by Aaron Humphrey. That's the second or third time today he showed good pursuit down the line of scrimmage. Third and 11. Here's your five wide receiver set that has never been shown by the Cowboys until today. Flags down on the play. The pass is incomplete. There was a lot of movement up front. Clock stops with 4.35 to play. The Cowboys are having a good day throwing the ball today, but you can tell they're not as comfortable as they would like to be because those are simple throws right there. Ball start on the offense. They show an empty formation again. Lindsey can hurt you in the quarterback draw, but not this time. The Texas defense comes up big when it has to. Hampton making the tackle. Well, Hampton's been there today. Woodard has made his plays, and Rogers is probably going to be a better player than either one of those guys. will have a long, distinguished NFL career. But the quarterback draw did not fool anybody at Texas on that play. Well, Texas had very good pressure on the punter at times today. Oklahoma State has had a kick block today. Great snap, no pressure. Elder, it's a soft fair catch called for at the 17. 83 yards to go for Texas with 3.52 to play. Hey, don't miss Sunday Night Football on ESPN. It's Tennessee against Tampa Bay, and then Monday night on ABC Sports. It's Monday Night Football, Green Bay against Pittsburgh. Fred Favre for the Packers, a good game last week, taking on Pittsburgh. This is the first time that Green Bay and Pittsburgh have played each other on Monday Night Football. Wayne McGarrity's had a good afternoon, and so is number nine, Bonnie Cavill. Well, so has the quarterback. Yep. Major Applewhite's had a big one. I was stunned when Mike and his guys told us that this guy has been to, he went to 19 <laughs> summer camps to uh, learn as much as he could about football when he was growing up, you know, in, in high school. I didn't know it was physically possible to go to 19 summer camps. These folks are selling out a lot of cash. Here's Ricky Williams out to the 23-yard line. 
champions, pardon me, Mark, championship teams win in situations like this. I was so impressed with what Major Apple White and the Longhorns did last weekend against Nebraska when they had to do it. Right now, they're the same. They're the same situation. Yeah, they could probably get it to overtime if they don't score, but they would love to take this down and score and not give Oklahoma State much time. Yeah, last week they drove 85 yards to the winning score, and they go to number 34, Ricky Williams. Oh, a shoestring tackle away from maybe taking it to the house. Brought down at the 45-yard line by Ricky Thompson, safety. A 24-yard pickup for Williams. Theory being, run blitz all you want. Sooner or later, you're going to pay the price. And that time, Ricky gets the big yard as they've been looking for. Almost, almost has a chance to go the distance. Ricky Thompson beaten by Ricky Williams on that play. <laughs> you know who they vote for for the Heisman? Ricky with 19 rushes today. 70 yards. Three receiver set on first and ten. Applewhite going up top. Garrity, who caught the touchdown pass last week against Nebraska, the intended receiver incomplete. Jones covering for Oklahoma State. Earlier in the day, earlier in the game, we kind of dogged Ricky Williams for not blocking because he's capable of blocking. He's smart enough to know whom to block. That time, it was play action. Major Applewhite going on top. And let's watch for Ricky Williams. Can he block? Game's on the line. Ricky, you've got to get this guy. If you don't, he kills Major Applewhite. There's no chance. Yeah, gets this guy to the ground. Fortunately for Oklahoma State, it's well defended in the secondary. Second down and 10. They come on a blitz. There's Williams again. Williams on Oklahoma State side of midfield at the 48-yard line. You talked to Dean about his mocking ability. Last week, he also showed his tackling ability, making a touchdown saving tackle against Nebraska. And a few plays later, the defense came up with a turnover. That, in essence, helped save the victory for Texas last week against Nebraska. Well, I think he showed his competitiveness as another Cowboy is down. But I think what you saw there is this guy's willing to do anything for his team to win. You have shaken up player on the field. Ricky Williams still with a lot of gas left in the tank on third and four. We'll be right back. Back at Darrell Royal Memorial Stadium in Austin. I'm Mark Jones along with Dean Blevins. We are knotted at 34 apiece between Texas and Oklahoma State. Texas with ball in Oklahoma State 47-yard line. The Longhorns with just one timeout remaining. Oklahoma State with all three of theirs. Oh, this is a big play, Mark. Huge. Calling it third down and three now. See if they come near side on the one and one. Williams in motion to the top of your screen. Yes, they do. And it's complete. McGarity has the first down and gets out of bounds to the 40-yard line. That's what you've got to do right there. You've got to take what the defense gives you, and they're going to give you that. The only way you mess that up is a fumble or Apple White throws a bad ball because they can't cover it. Apple White adding to his school record throwing yardage. Tulane, Lordy, 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 Tulane's getting after it, aren't they? Huh. I love what Coach Nutt is doing in Arkansas. Apple White is now thrown for 408 yards, three touchdowns. Ricky Williams. Falling forward to the 38-yard line with under two minutes to play now. Weaver making the tackle. Now the game of guessing. What do you what is the, what is the offense gonna do? Ryan Ryan's sitting there going, run, pass. How do we defend it? That time it felt Ricky was coming. And they had it defended. They had nine players within a couple of yards of the line of scrimmage. Mac knows he's probably going to have to throw the football to win here. Second down and eight. As soon as they say that, they find a crease for Ricky Williams, and he wins the game in the Heisman, right? Maybe. He's run for seven, eight yards. They picked it up a little bit in the second half. Here he is again. Nice side step. And he ends up about two yards short of the first down at the 
short for Texas to keep the ball in the middle of the field. Well, the Cowboys have been falling left and right. We've got two of them on the field now. Alton Weaver, who is so instrumental in what they do defensively. Mallory down as well. So that's two defensive tackles on the same play, hobble. And as we went to break a moment ago, Raymond Cato hobbled off, and he's had that bad knee and has been playing on guts today. As he limps off, Applewhite keeping his composure, and the Chevrolet most valuable players of the game are Tony Lindsay from Oklahoma State and Major Applewhite from the University of Texas. The Chevrolet donation will be made to each school's general scholarship fund to reward outstanding students for their academic achievements and to assist those in financial need. It's been Chevrolet tradition for more than a quarter of a century. Okay, Stockton is warming up. Crit Close. Critical call here. Oklahoma State does not know what's coming. You can throw the football here and risk an interception, but even if you don't make it, you've got a 50-yard kick, and the percentages are with Stockton. I think they throw. That's what they do. Applewhite. And it's incomplete and a flag thrown. Flag thrown on Jones. All day it has been battle between Jones and McGarity. The game could turn on that play because Texas was perhaps in field goal range before this call. Now, do the questionable calls and the one obvious bad call earlier in the game come in play on this call? This looks to be very questionable. You know, Mac Brown was working the official a long time. Over the top. Whoa, he boy. He gotten there with the ball. Oh, we've got to see that again. The referee doesn't have this option. Texas fans are glad that he does it. Bob Simmons says that call stinks. Marcus Jones is the cornerback in question. All right, here is our man right here. We'll keep an eye down here. He's in good position. He breaks. He doesn't slip. Good coverage. From that angle, it's really hard to see. I, I, I tell you what, the game turns on that call. From that, from this vantage point, I don't think you call that. Boy, that is so close. You wouldn't want to have to make that call. But he didn't hesitate. Hey, that's the same guy that didn't hesitate a while ago on the back call. <laughs> He's consistent. And it's a first down with 45 seconds to play. Line of scrimmage now, the 17-yard line. Stockton, a great kicker. Mac Brown said yesterday, this is the guy that we have a ton of confidence in. I didn't want to go out and sign somebody in Juju College to bring him in, just be around a little bit. I want people who can be here for a while. So he's a much better kicker than punter, and I would think Texas would just run the ball and keep it in the middle of the field. Ricky Williams wants to take it into the end zone, down to the 13-yard line. Clock running with 35 seconds to play. Texas still with one timeout remaining while making the tackle for Oklahoma State. One more look at that critical call. Was it or wasn't it? I say you don't call that right there. At this stage in the game, it's going to be an open, it's going to be a Texas chip shot. The Cowboys are willing to let this go down to a one field goal kick game. They have timeouts remaining. And Texas calls a timeout. Its last timeout was seven seconds to go in the fourth quarter as Chris Stockton will now have time to ponder, to think about the magnitude of this kick to come off of his foot. Riding on the outcome is potentially the Big 12 Division South Division title. Should they win today and win their next few games? From this distance, between 30 and 39 yards out, Stockton is a perfect three for three on the season. He's kicked well today, even in tougher conditions. You, you perhaps have a wet ball at this point, although this is a field that drains extremely well. There's still some dampness down there. So the fact that you, you're working with some factors here, obviously the pressure is a factor, and Oklahoma State will pull an all-out blitz here because there is absolutely no way that you would ever run a fake field goal at this point. So it's not an absolute chip shot, 
But Texas sure loves getting that call being in this position. That's drama brewing. Not only here, but at Ohio State. Chris Stockton out of the hole to Brian White. And now Oklahoma State will try and put Stockton on ice from 29 yards out. Inside the 40-yard line, he is 5 of 5 this year. Chris Stockton, the sophomore, with the outcome of this game, riding on his toe, and boy, they're going to try and deep freeze him now. Well, Oklahoma State still has another timeout remaining. Brian White, number one, will be the holder on this, and you know, I, because I was a holder, not a kicker, I'm, I'm more concerned about the guy holding it than the kicker. I mean, there, sometimes that is not the easiest thing in the world to do. Now, that's a job, Mark, that you don't want to have. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you may want to be the kicker, but when they start the columns in the morning paper, they don't say Brian White did a nice job holding for the game-winning field goal. You know, Dean, that was an interesting picture right there. Matt Brown going out on the field and having a few words with his place kicker, and you could tell Brown using that charm, that, you know, that easy demeanor of him, that disarming way that he has, of taking the pressure off of Stockton. Well, can you imagine what he would be saying? It would be nothing but positive vibes because Mac Brown is the same coach who last week before the Nebraska game, the week of practice, he said, guys, now when we win at Nebraska, we want to win with class. And Nebraska had already won 47 in a row. Yeah, that's what inspires confidence in your players. Oh, it's He's unbelievable. That. Darryl Royal told me a few minutes ago that he sure was happy when Oklahoma wasn't able to hire Matt Brown when they hired Howard Schnellenberger some five years ago. There's a reason for that because Oklahoma's gone south and Texas is headed straight north. Here we go, and uh, Oklahoma State is going to call its third consecutive timeout. And Chris Stockton has had now, I've been watching my clock, Dean, because... Let me see. We started off at about 5 to 6 Central Time. We lined up for this field goal. <laughs> it's about 6, or pardon me, 2 minutes after 6 Central Time. So we've been thinking about this for nearly 7 or 8 minutes. You know, sometimes it is better for a kicker to have this much time. It just depends on the mental makeup of the guy. If you have the time, you've had a chance to realize that you know, this is only put down at the 19 and a half yard line and I make this every time I hit it. Some weaker mind, though, might think the other way. They say that Stockton has the competitiveness of a DP or a linebacker, albeit he's trapped inside a place kicker's body. Meanwhile, Michigan State has just had an interception in the end zone with about a minute to play, and they could hang on to defeat Ohio State. Right here, Chris Stockton has a chance to win it for Texas. Oklahoma State is out of timeouts. And he got it. Chris Stockton with three seconds to go on the game clock. They tried to put him in deep freeze, but he had a thaw. One more look at that field goal. Chris was almost frozen on this deal. Good snap, good hold. Watch where this ball goes. Oh, it's a magical year in Austin. <laughs> Sometimes you make your own luck, says Matt Brown. It wasn't pretty. No, it wasn't. But it went through. Bob Simmons knows the odds are not good for his team, but when that ball is in the air, it looks like he's got a shot at it. And now he knows that his bowl hopes are down the tube. Oh, boy. Cowboys had to win out. And Chris Stockton he's had to think about it a long time. He'll be embarrassed for about uh, five seconds. And then he'll be the toast of the town. So they carry him off this field. That's right. Last week shoulders. it was Mac Brown they carried off. And at least he got a short ride. I don't know that Chris will get the ride that <laughs> Mac got a week ago. Well, the guys in burnt orange from Texas 
looking like Cinderella. The cardiac kids for two consecutive weeks. Last week, a last minute, last second victory to snap Nebraska's long home winning streak. And this week, with three seconds to play, Stockton hits a game winning field goal. And that's it. Texas improves to 7 and 2. Their hopes live of still winning the Big 12 South Division, courtesy of Chris Stockton. And they improve to 4 and 1 in conference play. Yes, the Longhorns are rising back to prominence. Now 4 and 1 in conference play. The final score Texas 37, Oklahoma State fought valiantly. They score 34. Don't forget ABC's Monday Night Football. It's the Green Bay Packers at Pittsburgh for the first time.